guys is well, is, ep is episode uh, eighteen of uh, co-op, not get Richard I. <laughs> Almost got the series confused here, but did some work overnight. Been just uh, slowly upgrading stuff. I got the uh, third uh, block uh, around the base uh, completely upgraded to concrete, so making good progress on that. Just uh, waiting on more and more uh, cement mix to actually come out, and it's a it's a slow going process. So waiting for that, but at least we're doing a good thing here. So, Bangs has been do what have you been doing? Just uh, crafting. Run around. He's been running around looking for zombies. And so, yeah, we're just probably going to do some looting over in the uh, southeastern quarter, guys. So, I'll meet you over there and uh, once I'm uh, arrived. Yeah. Alrighty, everybody. I'm over here at uh, Am I Gone Funeral, rolling up to it. Uh, Fangs is actually, he's, uh, he's uh, making his way over. He's planning on making a trailer trip today, so... Gonna start making some cash for, for us, which will be nice. Um, Fangs, when you get over, please do let me know uh, which trader it is, like, name. I'm going to the one that's southeast, because the one south is further away. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, just wanted to search up Am I Gone Funeral Home, because I didn't think I had it. Oh, good news, Fangs. I found uh, three fertilizer and one of the coffins for you. Yeah. That's one thing I kind of find unusual a little bit, like, uh, in a coffin of all things, the fertilizer. Yeah, guys, I did, uh, did, uh, some merging overnight with, uh, pistols. Ow! Damn, uh, 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 the damn infected survivor got me, who, uh, with, uh, some bleeding. Uh, old brat. Come here. There, you're dead. Oh, hey, and he, at least he gave me a corn seed. Oh, time for me to get running. What? I'm right to the crater. Oh, okay, cool. Let's uh, see yeah. how long it'll take me. I'm leaving at about six. Have fun, try not to get eaten by zombies. Going for combat, so I'll just be run by him. Uh, more had another wrench, another beaker out of the medicine cabinet, and the game's feeling generous with me about wrenches today. Yeah, because you can craft them now. Yes, and they're, and I think as an additional screw you to me, it's like the the game gives me uh, low level wrenches. Oh. Oh, you can make these now? Yeah, no. Here, here's a bunch of low-level ones for you. Thanks, game. Now all we need to do is get mechanical parts, and if you save those, we can just have a ton of, ton of workbenches going. Yeah. And, uh... Mass craft. I, I actually found, I think it was the uh, leather glove schematic, so... Something I didn't know. Nice to find something that you don't know. Also helps with the leather working a little bit. And break through this. Won't be too bad. Hey, yeah. Remember, if you find the magnum schematic, I need that. No, I, w I won't forget. Just sometimes it's out of, uh... Sometimes it's like I'm just used to play on my own. It's like, a uh, a lot. So it's like I just... It's like, oh, I'll just read this. And it's like, oh, wait. Um... Searching the partitions drawers, not really much in here. Yeah, these mark what's supposed to be like the furnaces or like the partitions area, like uh they have the stainless steel blocks that's like made me think like, you know um Oh hey, I found ten magnum rounds for you. Good. But uh 
what I was gonna say is, uh, the stainless steel blocks look really cool, but, uh, and they have a lot of durability, but one thing I remember about the, those blocks is, like, uh, if a zombie even hits it once, it's like, you get, you get this kind of obvious scratch on the block, and it's like, which kind of ruins it, because it's like, you know, like, if you just want a nice looking base, it's like, like, damn it, I have this little scratch on the base now. <laughs> I'm now in in sight for it, not in sight, but in point where the marker for it is growing in size. Oh, okay, cool. That's a that's awesome. About halfway. Um. Well, I was going to go, I'm gonna go back over to the base guys, but actually check out where. Uh, um. I think I actually just raided this house the other day, or no. I found you another magnum frame, which is actually a higher level one, 111. Magnum grip. So at least you'll be Let's getting. Find magnum grips everywhere now. No, it would be no. The games to screw you would be uh, basically throw me a million uh, magnum uh, magnum cylinders because that's the part we were looking for for the longest time. Not really too long. Yeah, not too long, but it's just like. Games just be like, oh yeah, you need a magnum, you need a magnum cylinder. Not a good you too. I'll just you know, throw like ten of them at you. Break it into a gun safe at the moment. Eh, pistol grip and crappy hunting rifle barrel. I'll just keep the hunting rifle. Well, I'll keep the pistol grip because it's better. I think it's actually a level up. Just take a little look. No, but it's I could just merge it for more. Um, search visual the rest. Dis visual. What? I have visual of the trader. What does it look like? Wood spikes. Oh, is it just like a kind of a a uh, just like a skeleton kind of base, or is it like a kind of like a big fort? On a, it's like a tree fort. Uh, I believe that is Trader Hugh. Joel. Oh, you, Trader Joel. Uh, Trader, uh, Trader Joel. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say like if you find like a one that looks like a big log fort, that's a, that's Trader Hugh. He's a, he's kind of, he's kind of uncommon because. Like, uh, two of my three traders I've discovered in Get Rich or Die are basically, uh, they're... One has a, two of them are Trader Bobs, and then, uh, one's a Trader Joel. Uh. It's kind of like, Trader Bob's kind of a... It, he's my most common trader to see on, on this while playing. It's kind of, it's like, I find him so much, it's kind of not even funny. Like every series uh, I've found, it's like I've ran into Trader Bob like as my first trader. Oh, uh, it's like Bob, I like you as a trader, but come on, man, please. Like I would, I would much rather appreciate it if you were, if you're someone else. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna run over and uh, to base and get some stuff sorted out, and I will be back with you in a little bit. Yeah, Zombies guys, that up. is good news. Uh, come back here with the. Uh, I have finally upgraded my, my base to become a uh, fully reinforced concrete, which is excellent news. That means a uh, fun little. Uh, I can start expanding the base out here uh, within the next few episodes if I really feel like it. Uh, but probably maybe do some uh, some looting. Maybe go to another town like. Uh, for a little bit of an excursion for loot. Actually upgrade this uh, door to scrap iron. Yeah, fun little stuff. So, um, have I actually... can't remember if I've actually hit this uh, little place next door to my uh, little hut up yet. Just break into here. And... No, I haven't because it would have been a. Uh, I would have broken in already. Alright. 
Let's just break in here. Watch, you broke in through another. What was that? Dude, now watch, you did break in, but in a place you don't remember and can't find. Oh no. And it's already looted. That'd be funny. But this is, uh. No, this place I already. It's like, uh, I can tell because I haven't broken in yet and I've already. Because there's a gun safe and I would have. I would have broken through, like, the cupboards so it's already hit it up, so. At least I'm not hitting an unlocked door. Uh, like you've done before? Yep. It's just kind of instinct. <laughs> Sometimes you can't help it. Yep. Here, let me strike this. Oh wait, it's unlocked. It's because you don't even think about it anymore. Mm-hmm. Especially once you have a high-level steel axe. We're done recording. I'm going back to Subnautica. <laughs> Say that again? We're done recording after this episode. I'm going back to Subnautica. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, the guys like this episode that's being recorded the, little, the last little bit of our recording session, so... It's like, yeah, Vangs wants to go back to Subnautica land. Which I don't blame him. Um, more, more cement. Yeah, more, more cement. Oh! I got infected survivor. You don't want to pull up to me. Wow. What? Some of those zombies, their neck, their texture just glitched out and it stretched the neck. <laughs> Turned him into zombie stretch Armstrong. Basically. Okay, just want to swap out a pistol frame over here, guys. And... Let me actually merge the two together. Yeah, level 114, it's getting there. Slowly but surely. And... We'll just throw more... Throw more iron in. Make some... Let's make like 24 gyms so I have extra for printing knives and everything like that. Uh... Okay, got my forged iron, so start working on a a new hunting knife. I figured I'm gonna just uh, stay away from the clubs and I'm gonna go over to hunting knife guys. You know, hunting knife's pretty satisfying to use. Yeah. Uh, um. I'm freezing. Oh no. <sighs> and I found a wandering ward. Well, Ooh, they were nice. Kill them all. They were actually just kind of doing their thing, just uh, wandering about, like, uh, through town, like, they're kind of over by the mm, horde base. I'm gonna uh, wait on my new hunting knife. Can you knife. shoot through a broken door that is... Oh, you can't. No, not in this version. Sadly. That's a feature on PC version. Come here, guys. Time for... Time for knifey knifey. Ooh, another level up. Level 46. Nice. Come here. Well, serious, I'm coming back with about 10,000 coins. That's good. And I'm infected again, but I know I got a honey in my little shelter, so got that. I got that sorted. You're down. Come here. Uh, there's a guy that's uh, looking away from me. He looks like he's uh, he's uh, staring at your house. Uh, oh, I'm actually starting to freeze now. Oh no, you lagging? No, like freeze, freeze. Cold. Oh, get cold. 
Yeah, it's a little bit of a chilly day. Our explosion. At 21 degrees. Yeah, I'm at 21 degrees as well. I put a black puffer jacket in the right chest of your base. Yeah, I saw that. I'll grab it here in a second. Just working on the wandering board. Come here. Heads are full. Heads are him. Uh, turning into pink mist. That's nice. And. Being hunted by don't know where from. You're being hunted by phantoms. Here we are. Hello. An infected survivor. And it's dead. Two shot. I'm starting to warm back up a little bit. Hunted again. Where is this zombie? Uh, making good work of these zombies here. They're really not giving me too much trouble. Come here. Come on. Their, head, their head's gone boom. That was a perfect headshot, and the zombie just, it just went through the zombie. Picture perfect headshot. Wonderful. The zombie ignored it. It just went straight through. Ow. Another level up. Wonderful. Oh, I'm thirsty again. Yeah, this is one big horde, guys. Um, yeah. Just had one zombie after another. Yep, pretty much. All right, back to knifey knifey. Come here. Here. Oh, well, it looks like the crawlers are bringing it up the rear. Come here, you. You little sweat. Come on. There you go. Um, looks like only a couple more walkers. How close are you getting? I'm nearing there. Close. That's nice. There we go. One more. See if that other zombie is still staring at your base. No, he's not. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a whole, whole wandering horde. Bad. Open those more. I am at 359 kills and uh, you're at 399. I went up by an entire hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been you up another hundred. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Most of it's with a bow and arrow. Mm-hmm. And it's not even tier 300. It's 263. Again, hey, I'm also in, having a nice bow skill. Yep. 32. Uh, Zombie, I'd like you to say hello to my nice shaft arrow friend. My shaft arrow. I don't know how I don't know how to set that into a good pun. <laughs> oh. Yeah, guys. Uh, you dodged uh, the headshot. Ag and guys, I I know it's gonna be a shorter episode, but uh, I think I'm gonna call it here. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day and take care.